Welcome back. Now for your five day weather forecast, we go outside to Aaron Kenny. It looks like snow is still a ways away, and we're okay with that. Here's an added bonus, sunshine and warmer temperatures heading into the weekend. Today we will see variable cloudiness with a high of 10 degrees. Temperatures will drop overnight down to 4. Saturday will be a great opportunity for some last minute outdoor activities before the cold comes in. It will be mainly sunny day with high of 11 degrees and low of 4. Sunday we will see some rain coming in all day with a high of 13 degrees and low of 9. Starting your work week, we will see temperatures drop to a high of 8 degrees and low of 3 on Monday. Heading into Tuesday, expect more cold with a high of 4 degrees and low of 0. That's all for your 5-day weather forecast. Now back to you in the studio. Thanks, Aaron. Turning now to international and national news. Advanced polls open today for the federal by-election to be held November 25th for Toronto Centre. The seat was vacated by Liberal Bob Ray. Toronto is one of four by-election locations. Other locations include Quebec and two regions in Manitoba. Prime Minister Stephen Harper made the decision in October to fill four vacancies in the House of Commons. Eligible voters can vote Friday, Saturday and Sunday from noon to 8 p.m. The number of international travelers coming to Canada has decreased by 20% since the year 2000. According to the Canadian Tourism Association, Canada had 16 million international visitors in 2012. The majority of visitors came from the U.S., Britain, Germany, Australia, and France. In 1970, Canada was the second most popular tourism destination, falling short of Italy. Now, it's number 18 behind countries like Saudi Arabia and Ukraine. China's ruling Communist Party says the country will relax its one-child policy and will also eliminate its labor camp system. The state's official news agency announced the amendments this morning. The new child policy will allow couples to have two children if one parent is an only child. The current laws limit urban families to one child unless both parents are only children. Rural couples can have two children, but only if their firstborn is a girl. The re-education through labor system was created in the 50s to punish Communist Party critics. It is now used by the government to punish those who challenge their authority. Twelve migrants are dead after a boat capsized off the coast of Greece early this morning. The migrants are thought to be Syrian and it's believed their destination was Italy. They were found on land near a boat that was tied to onshore rocks. Fifteen survivors were taken to hospital. Greek police say the boat likely capsized because it was overloaded. And now with your sports news, here's Frank Boateng. Thanks guys, Humber's women volleyball team are 5-0, winning in straight sets last night against Conestoga. The Hawks ran away with the first set, putting forth a dominating performance on road to a 25-7 win. The second and third set was a much different story as Conestoga kept the scores close, but they failed to win a set. The men's team put in a strong performance to get back into the win column. Conestoga challenged Humber at times, but setter Andre Brown and hitter Trevor Wong did a fantastic job to ensure Humber walked away with the win. Both teams will face off against the Sheridan Bruins tomorrow. The Hornball Hawks rugby team are set to face a challenging opponent as both men's and women hope to keep their OCAA championship reign going. Humber will welcome both Algonquin's women and men's team, who, like Humber, are also undefeated this year. Humber's women's team is coming off a 30-0 thrashing against Conestoga, while the men destroyed Fleming in a heated 52-5 win in the semis. The Humber Valley Field will be the place to be this Sunday, but if you can't make it, the championship game will be streamed online. The Toronto Maple Leafs will be without Nazem Kadri tonight when they take on the Buffalo Sabres. Kadri was handed a three-game suspension yesterday by the NHL for this hit on Nicholas Backstrom. Kadri was penalized for goal interference. As bad as the replay looks, it is clear that it was unintentional. Kadri will lose over $44,000 in salaries. I can use that. The first leg of the FIFA 2014 World Cup European playoffs is underway today, and boy, am I happy. There are plenty of international games to enjoy, but these are the four that matters. Iceland takes on Croatia, Greece will face Roma Romania, France will square off against Ukraine, and the marquee match of the day will pet Cristiano Ronaldo against Zlatan Ibrahimovic as Portugal takes on Sweden. One of these two stars will not be in Brazil comes next year. The World Anti-Doping Agency has doubled the ban for athletes who are caught using performance-enhancing drugs. The code which was passed today will come into effect in 2015. The rule will also give possible immunity to punishment, uh, from punishment 
to athletes who provide information on doping. Oh man, I can see a lot of whistleblowing taking place. The Toronto Raptors host the Chicago Bulls in our game of the night. The four and five Raptors will face the six ranked Bulls who will be without star point guard Derrick Rose, who is currently nursing a hamstring injury. Tip off is at 7 p.m. That's all for sports. I'm Frank Barton. Now back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Frank. After the break, we'll get the latest in entertainment from Tatiana Patterson. Mayor Rob Ford makes it on late night television yet again, and we have your weekend movie updates, all coming up on entertainment. <laughs> 